Hi folks, Urgelt here. Some of my viewers suffer from insomnia. Perhaps most of us have encountered it as an occasional thing when we are stressed, wired, worried, or just in a strange mood. But for those of you who are regularly denied enough sleep, torture is not too strong a word. The purpose of this video is to share some ideas that may help insomniacs with sleeping. First, if you're having sleep problems, you should not be consuming any caffeine. There is a direct link between caffeine and sleep loss. Remove caffeine from your diet and sleep may improve. Other stimulants and psychoactive drugs can impair sleep too. Any drug that changes your state of mind can become an obstruction to sleep. If you're an insomniac, you might want to look hard at the drugs that are going into your body and see if there are changes you can make to obtain relief. And don't forget cigarettes. Tobacco is another mood-altering and stimulating drug that may interfere with sleep in some people. So if you're suffering from insomnia and also smoking, you have yet another reason to quit. Second, sleeping at night is generally more restful than sleeping in daytime. If you can arrange your schedule so that you sleep at night and are awake during the day, you will get better results. Further, taking naps in the daytime may impair sleep at night. If you can, eliminate naps altogether. Be active during the day, sleep at night. Third, turn off the lights. Even a night light can impair sleep quality. Turn all lights off and cover windows with drapes or blinds. Go for total darkness. It can help. Fourth, make sure it's quiet. If there is noise you can't control, you might want to introduce a source of white noise. You can buy white noise generators or just turn on a radio and set the dial between stations. Fifth, make sure your bed is comfortable. Here's what helped me. I purchased a two inch thick memory foam pad to put on top of my bed. As a result, there are no distracting little panes from a hard bed surface to keep me awake and shifting position. This really helped my sleep. Google this, memory foam topper pad. Sixth, there are things you can do with food and drink that may help. I'll start with tryptophan an amino acid that's essential to human physiology. Consuming foods rich in tryptophan boosts the level of serotonin in the brain, which helps calm anxiety and improve sleep. Having a before bed snack with a tryptophan rich food source may help you. I'll put a link in the text box to a website that identifies foods rich in tryptophan. There are foods to avoid before bedtime, too. Anything that has added sugar or industrial chemicals may accelerate your heartbeat and make getting to sleep difficult. Avoid sugar and chemicals in your bedtime snacks. Drinking lots of water may help, too. Water is the way our bodies detoxify themselves. Drink lots and you'll do better on average with your health. And I think that extends to sleeping as well. True, you may find yourself getting up in the night to relieve your bladder. But that's a small price to pay for the detoxification effect plenty of water provides. Some people report their sleep is improved if they consume a cup of mint herbal tea before going to bed. The warmth of the tea makes you drowsy, for sure. Whether the herbs do anything more, 
I don't know. I haven't seen any science backing up the claim that minty tea produces beneficial physiological changes. But some people think it does, so perhaps it's worth trying. Seventh, you can also boost your serotonin levels in your brain by exercising regularly. On average, people who exercise should have fewer sleeping problems. It's also true that obesity is linked to sleep disorders. So if you are having trouble sleeping and you are overweight, now is a good time to get control over your weight. You can see my healthy eating series if you need help with that. Eighth, I've seen summaries of studies which show that people who spend time in natural settings such as parks, woods, or gardens have less anxiety and less symptoms of mental disorders than other groups. Those who watch the most TV have the greatest anxiety levels and the worst symptoms of mental disorders. I think this finding may spill over into the ability to sleep well. If you're desperate to improve your sleep and nothing is working, my advice is to turn your TV off and leave it off. I believe this will help. And if you often spend time among trees, gardens, or wild places, the benefit should be even more. Ninth, some insomniacs may obtain benefit from listening to relaxing audio sounds, such as heartbeats, waves on a beach, a calm voice, music, or certain low-pitched sounds. You may want to experiment with sound sources to see if any help you. Tenth, if you have tried all of these ideas and still have insomnia, you might want to talk to your doctor about what modern medicine can do to help you. There are specialists in the area of sleep and tests they can conduct to see if they can pinpoint the source of your problem. Those are my suggestions. You will notice that I said nothing about sleeping pills. I'm skeptical that sleeping pills will actually help you to obtain restful sleep. Drugged sleep is probably not as good as natural sleep. Before you start drugging yourself, see if any of the 10 suggestions I've mentioned can solve your problem. If not, let your doctor guide you with respect to drugs. If you have any suggestions for insomniacs which I've not addressed, please write them in comments or post a video response. Thank you for watching, and may you sleep well tonight.